South African man has won a landmark case after being awarded over 39 million rand in damages for unlawful imprisonment in Equatorial Guinea. Earlier this month, the Western Cape High Court found the country's vice president there, Theodora Obiang, directly responsible for Daniel Jansa van Rensburg's wrongful arrest and torture. Jansa van Rensburg's ordeal started back in 2013 after he was accused of theft by Obiang's uncle. This ultimately ended in his imprisonment in Malabo's notorious Black Beach prison. And Daniel Jansa van Rensburg joins us now from Hookville from his thoughts on the ruling. Daniel, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, I remember hearing about Black Beach Prison uh, when Mark Thatcher was arrested and Simon Mann came back out of their uh, horror stories as it probably being one of the worst prisons on earth. Yes, I actually only heard yesterday um, it was the second worst in the world, um, only second to Nairobi. Daniel, uh, I mean, you're back. How have you acclimatized and, and how are you coping? I mean, life can't ever return to normal. Uh, no, it won't ever be normal again. Um, I think something like that uh, probably st sticks to you for the rest of your life. Um, you know, I, I spent this five years that we were fighting in court to try and get something positive out in my book and write all these things down in my book so that the story can get out there as well to what is actually happening, what happened and what is still happening there. I mean, some sort of financial compensation is a relief and, and may bring you some sort of justice. Do you think you're actually going to get the money? Um, yeah, God willing, we will get the money. Um, um, you know, I've got a very good legal team and so on, and um, we've got the houses that we've got attached. Um, so I think that part is also covered. Um, yeah, justice, no, we definitely didn't get justice. Uh, what he did to me and my family and what he's still doing over there and so on, that's, this is not justice. It's, but it is closure for us and we can move on to a new chapter in our lives. I mean, it's not just those uh, foreigners who are sitting in Black Beach who are suffering. It's, it's locals, too, and, and you're writing about it in your book. Um, without, without making life too painful for you, can you just tell us some of the horrors that you experienced? Yeah, I mean, this is not a normal prison. You know, it's, it's, um, the worst part of it is that... Um, women and children are mixed with, with the men. Everybody is thrown into one cage. Um, children, 11, 12 year olds, you know, that are thrown in there, their lives are changed forever. Uh, there was a boy of 12 years old that stole a mango in the marketplace. He was hungry. Um, those stories never come out. You know, those are things that are still happening. And, you know, this with my book, I hope that I shine some light there and I've got a lot of friends there and that I'm still in contact with and so on, and they're just very happy for what is happening now. You were tortured and you witnessed or at least heard executions taking place. Uh, yeah, you know, that's, 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 um, that happened while I was inside and so on. Uh, all were sentenced to death and so on. Um, but I think that is normal, normal procedure there. Uh, the death penalty is there and um, met with the people personally and so on. Um, I think they quite deserved what they got. We'll, we'll read about more about this in your book, but what are you doing now and uh, how have you settled back into life back in SA? Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, I live in a fantastic community. Um, I've got a fantastic um, um, support group uh, from my church here and from the community around here in Hookville and so on. It's, it's really been fantastic. Um, you know, we've been carried. Um, we've struggled a lot of times, but um, with family and friends, you know, it's, it's all you've got around you, you know, especially now in this, this crazy pandemic story as well. It's the people around you that actually can support you and help you. Well, Mr. Janssen van Rensburg, I hope that you get that 39 million rand compensation uh, and that you can do some kind of good with it to perhaps help others there. Definitely, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.